Grelingstad, officially in Thorwani, is a small farming town west of Standerton in Mpumalanga, South Africa. Hello and welcome back to our channel. If you haven't done this already, please subscribe and press the bell icon. That way you'll find out every time we bring you a new and exciting travel adventure video. The town was established in 1909 by the Dutch Reformed Church and was named Grayling after P.J. Grayling, who was the stepson of Piet Retief. In 1913, a new town was established just five kilometers away on the farm Willemsdal and named Willemsdal in 1914. Because of its location in fertile agricultural territory and its association with the Bezuidenhouts of Johannesburg, Grelingstad held immense strategic importance during the South African War. This was primarily because it was situated on the main railway line connecting the reef and the colonial state of Natal. The town quickly grew in size and population, becoming a thriving community with various amenities and services for its residents.
During the Boer War, a regiment of Scottish rifles transported three cannons to the hill overlooking the town and constructed a maze of fortified walls using the remains of an ancient Stone Age settlement that had remained untouched for millennia. Also, the letters SR were strategically placed on the hill, giving them a prominent position with a clear view of the town. This ensured their visibility from Grayling Stud's main street at all times. The clash between the British and the Boers was short-lived and lacked a definitive outcome. The Boers would swiftly ride down from the hills across from the British fortifications, causing trouble and confusion often with unclear motives, and the British would force the local black population into a nearby concentration camp, coercing them to fix the railway line damage caused by the Boers. During the 1950s, the town flourished, and the area became a breadbasket, with farmers farming soya, cabbages, sheep, goats and cattle. The town's drive-in was also sophisticated for its time, as it was one of the few that allowed you to listen to the soundtrack through your car's stereo. The R23, which was the main highway between Johannesburg and Durban, went through Grayling Stud, and traffic peaked during the holiday season. Cars lined up at the Pegasus garage for fuel, while Sissy's dollhouse, which used to be the local roadhouse, stayed open until after midnight alongside other eateries to take advantage of the increased business. A major change came about in the 60s when a bypass was built. Thereafter, the new Johannesburg-Durban N3 freeway, 20 kilometers to the west, was constructed which effectively starved businesses in town. It was not long thereafter that the railway station was demolished. Houses were ripped down. After the post office was destroyed in a fire, banks, doctors' practices, hairdressers and various other small businesses, including the once prosperous Honeymoon Hotel, shut their doors. The agricultural cooperative trade slowed to a trickle, finally bolted its doors. Grayling Stud has not yet become a deserted town, but it has been forced from the modern world. It is difficult to understand how this community deteriorated from its previous grandeur. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative and entertaining. Please like, subscribe to and share our videos. Your support means the world to us and it allows us to continue creating valuable content for you.